Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on Roland Zenbits. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can quickly and easily and smoothly transition from one track to the other, effectively simulating um, the effect that you find in application like Mute Master, but inside Roland Zenbits without using any additional app. Okay, so first of all, Let's click on new song. Let's close the drum editor and let's extend the setting of the track and delete it. Okay, let's go to the timeline editor and turn off the loop uh, function. Let's click and add free audio tracks like so. Perfect, let's go to the first one, double click uh, on the track itself, select user and bring in a first song. Let's do the same on the second track, second song and third track, third song. Perfect. So let's go back to the first track. Let's click on the meters to make available or visible other options like these ones. Let's click on the automation. Let's add an automation on the volume. Let's select the painting tool. Let's uh, click before the track to ensure that the volume is zero. And then let's draw another point just when it start, and then let's go up towards perhaps something like this. This point three quarter. Now let's sec add. Uh, let's go to the second track. Add some automation again on volume. Ensure that the volume is zero at the beginning. Okay, and it's still at zero around probably track num uh, bar number four, something like that. And then let's go gently up to something like that to bar number five. At the same point that uh, the volume on track number two is going up, we want the volume of track number one going down. So roughly starting from, um, let's go back to uh, track uh, number one. Click add the automation volume. So around track four, we click one point and then again another point between the middle, uh, in the middle between bar four and five, down to below zero to around bar number five. Okay, perfect. Now let's click on track number two. Let's move, uh, let's zoom out a bit more. So around track number seven, uh, sorry, bar number seven. Let's click again and edit the volume automation on track number two. Around bar number seven, we add a point. Then between the middle of the next bar, uh, like so, and down to zero, roughly zero, when it is around bar eight. Okay, so let's click outside the track. Now let's move to track number three. Let's uh, again make visible the automation, add automation. Uh, and uh, we do it on the volume, right? So volume down to zero at the beginning, then we make a point around bar seven, and then we gently go up around three quarter of the volume, like so. Perfect. So as you can see, we have now set up our, 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 our um, volumes through automation. Actually, let's go back a little bit to track number one. Let's again edit that automation. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I thought this was not starting from zero, but it does. Okay, so let's click stop to go to the beginning. Let's click play and enjoy. Wow. You see how easily it can be to transition smoothly from one track to the other? Really, really nice. Really straightforward. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.